Hey guys, and welcome to the last episode of my Windcraft series, my first series, and I'm going to do the last episode now. So this is episode three. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the warrior class for now, and I'm gonna do some of my archer class, my higher level one, and I'll show you some of the cooler places you can go and explore, and I'll show you some good grinding spots so you can get some high levels. I'll also do a couple of missions maybe. Um. So I'm flying on ice, and I've got a couple of subscribers so far. So if you guys would like to help me, please subscribe and like, because it really helps me. Awesome, guys. All right, let's get into it. Server 17 is like my, it's my preferred one. All right, we'll go to Archer, and I'll show you some of the places. All right, so I've logged in, and I am in Elmage. Elmage. I'm pretty sure that's the place. Pronounce it. And um, with Archer class, I've got my chain armor. I haven't quite got my um, pants yet, but I'm working on that. Yep. So I'm just gonna put some of this junk up here. So I've got free inventory. All right. So with Archer, basically the um, spells are reversed. So instead of a, instead of like a Instead of a right, left, right for your um for your main first attack spell, it's like a left, right, left. So it's reversed because you use your main attack as your right mouse button and see so if the opposite. So it's a bit different. Um, with the archer, when you get them up high levels, you can get lots of different spells. You can get the um you first you get the um uh, the this one. Whoa. I've never seen that before. Oh cool, that must have happened when I level up. Oh that's awesome, I haven't seen that before guys. That's my um, precision precision spell thingamajiggy. Um, basically that's like your chain fire one, machine gun fire. Um, and then you get your boost, which is three right taps and that knocks you up on the air. It also puts you down slow, but if you hold down shift then you jump really fast. So if you Lots of zombies around, you can get down quicker. Um, it also gives you three minutes of speed boost once you get to high levels and unlock it. Then you've got the arrow shield. I'll show you, you've got your bomb. There we go. Here's our arrow shield. Basically, you a good um, strategy for the arrow shield is to use it. So you get a herd a whole lot of zombies or skeletons or whatever into a great big circle and then you run to the middle of them and you just do an arrow shield. You blow up in pieces. Pretty awesome. Alright, so this is Elmoj, it's like the desert desert city, this is about the third city you'll want to go to. Um so it's like the third tire city. So here we've got the all sorts of different quests here. Some of them are easy, some of them are hard. I'm gonna, I'm stuck at one at the moment because I can't find the um, temple for the mummy. So if you guys know where that is, I'd love to know where that is. Somewhere to the south, somewhere like that. Right. So as you can see, there's like a marketplace, some guys out there, some cities and houses and stuff. It's all pretty cool in a palace. So here, these like the wildlands. You have to be careful in here. Whatever you're doing, you have to go quick because there's lots of post slots in here, and they can kill you pretty easily. So whatever you're doing, you have to go through it real fast. So here are the post slots. Here they're like they're really dangerous. So keep away from them. Over here's a um a small village. Looks like an African village, but um you can get uh, there's the potato salesman here, and you need him for a quest. Um, I think it's the, the someone somewhere. Sorry, there's there's one where you have to get to a guy and you have to do this sort of a parkour place and there's lava down below and you have to get there. And um and basically he asked you to go find some food for him. And here are the here's the potato guy. Um directly that way is Nimrat in the graveyard and the shipwreck cove. So I head that way now. 
over in that direction is um, debtless. So if you go to debtless, then um, pretty easy to know where you're going. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna show you guys the way around the place, and so show you some places where you need to go to get some quests and stuff. And this is a pretty cool place. Here they've got um, oh these are these are really cool cove where they've got this like the ship in our cave. And you have to go through like a um this really cool cave and you come out in the waterfall and stuff, it's pretty awesome but at the moment there's like no loot chest or anything in there so it must be for a quest some other time or something I'm not sure, I haven't got that far um, I would abandon houses and stuff they've got some cool scenery and stuff I've just got random stuff lying around the place and they've really got some cool trees and stuff so here's the graveyard and this is where you go to get your chain armor, chain armor. So once you've got your leather, you've got an emerald which is that way, and you get your gold there. Then you come here, and you do your um, what's it called? Chain armor. So then you take out these guys. Bomb arrow. levels and that's where you collect your chain armor. Um, this is the monastery. You have to go here to do the grave digger quest. And don't forget to bring heaps of rotten flesh with you when you come here. Because you ask him for uh, he asks you for rotten flesh and stuff. And then you have to go down to the catacombs and get a dusty old well from Sadaras. showed you this little house in a um, previous episode, but um, you need to, there has to be dark, uh, night time for that to happen because they've got a daylight sensor, and the doors only open at night. Um, basically you come through the town, there's heaps of stuff around here, there's a bank, there's an armor shop, there's a weapon shop, there's a potion place. What you need is a is a quest you do um, at Drushish's house, Drushish's house, and you need, he won't talk with you, and you need to get him some drunk potions. Here's a really really good um, grinding spot for when you get to level 11, and then you can get up and roof. Basically, all the zombies come in here. You stand on this, and they can't get you because they're up. You can just stand here and pull them all out. Now 
got you an end date. I'll show you how to get up the roof. With the archer, this is easiest, and also with um, mage. But um, it's very, very difficult with a uh, warrior, which was what I was showing you guys later, earlier. Basically, you just jump up on the roof. With the warrior, you want to jump up from there onto here, and then come up here, and then sprint jump on here. So basically, you want to come over here, and then stand right back here. Everyone. And they have to the only way you can die is if you accidentally do your jump spell and fall down there and then they just start killing you and then you're gonna so show the way to get here so basically um, you need to find the coast the coast is usually it's yeah hold on. basically you find the coast and you just follow it with it on your left I'll just show you how to get to Ragni from here and you can go up here. So you want to follow this road pretty much. Follow the road. Yeah, well there is a bit of travel in here, it's usually not that bad because the cities aren't that far away. It's only the quests that can be annoying. But sometimes you have to go back and forth and some things you need to rely on the other side of the map. For instance, the shipwreck quest, I had to go get that um, uh, the rotten, the pigment fish, and um, I had to go all the way back to Ragnar and then it all come all the way back here. And then I didn't, I, I only got two and I needed three, so I had to go all the way back by accident. So it was a bit annoying. Lucia is always a good idea to get, I mean she's like heaps of zombies around me. Because um, sometimes you can get good ones like this one. And you can find some good stuff. That one's good, but I'm only level 36, so I can't wear it. <laughs> well, I hope you guys like this series, because this is my final episode. I'm all wrapping it up, and I'm showing you guys all the stuff. Uh, when, once you come to that three-way road, you want to come up here. Or in the opposite direction, you want to go to your right when you come down here. So basically, follow this road until you get to this house. And then you just follow it in the same direction the house is going. But you can cut across and just go straight like this. Because Ragni is in that direction over there. Well, it's pretty much straight ahead from here. So to get there, you just, you just run over here and you find this road. And you just pretty much follow it in the same direction. So if we're going the opposite direction, I, I would recommend going through the uh, cross, going through the road until you come to the to the forest, and then. Just inside the forest is a road going to the left. You follow that road and you'll come out to where the um, to where the sea is and just keep the sea on your left. I don't need that um, spell thing because I'm not I am oh I am not a mage. This is pretty cool, so you can jump up in trees and stuff and destroy it by cycling. Like Exiting Ragni, you just follow the road. This road is the one that comes out of Ragni. Basically, you come all the way out here into the forest here, dark forest. You find the guy who has the red dye, and you keep going, and then there's a road just over here, and you just follow this road here all the way until you get to the coast. And then you just keep the coast on your left until you get to Nimrak. Once you've done it a couple of times, you know the general direction of where to go. That's not that bad. Down here we have Ragni, which I'll show you real quick. Look, Ragni is the, like, the first town you go to, and it's got some pretty easy quests and stuff in it. That you should be able to do pretty easily. Most of the quests here you'll be able to do with them um, real quick, real easily. Really easily. Hang on. Except for the Pigment and Ravines. That one's, that one's a bit difficult because you get lost really easily. It took me about an hour to actually find my way through. Here, here's where you grind up to a couple of levels. Just destroy these guys for a while. You have to be careful though when you're low level. These guys can actually hurt you pretty bad. For me, it's like a shot kill. Pretty awesome, right? 
it is good fun to come back to the low level stuff and just own everyone up, show off to the newbies. It's good fun. So this is Ragni. Basically, this is the main street here. You come up down here, you spawn inside that castle up there, and that's where you come out of the little quest. You just spawn inside there, you come out here. You got your, you got your armory stuff on the right. You got fields and paddocks over here, where you can um, do the cook assistant quest. Cook assistant quest is all the way down here, and I uh, just follow that way. The cook assistant quest. The pigmen ravines are down this way down here, to the right when you come out. So you just follow there. Um, and then straight ahead is to where the rest of the place is. The rest of the where. To where everyone else is. If you follow that main road straight as far as you can, you will eventually get to Deadless, which is like the second place you want to get to. So these are the pigmen ravines, which I'll show you how to navigate them, if I can remember. So basically, these are pretty dangerous if you're a low level. Even high levels, you've got a good chance of dying. <coughs> they do do quite a bit of damage to these guys. Well, not for me, because I've got chain armor. So basically, whenever you come to a crossing, go right. And you want to go up here. Follow this one up here. This, this place here is the cave, the creepy caves. You have to be careful with this place. Actually, the creepers are pretty easy to get. navigate. So they don't hurt you if, when you've got your creeper disguise. Well, one thing you do need is you do need um, green powder for this. You need your creeper face. And stuff like this. Because here come the creeper guards and stuff. Who will. Oh, they don't like They don't attack you. But, um. So that's how you get there. To get back, you just follow your left. Um. So that's how you get to a cave, the creepy cave. But when you first come in and have to do the quest, you have to, um. You have to come in here. Once you get to this tree, you just follow this way. So you take your right. I'll say you take your left turn. As you can see those pigmen do actually do quite a bit of damage once they get a couple of hits on you. You can reach here for ages. You want to come up here. And this, if I remember correctly, Once you get to the waterfall, there's this cave here. This cave is very easy to remember. Once you get to this cave, you just go up here. Or maybe I'm wrong. Ow. So maybe I should use my health for the Oh no, no, I was right. So once you get to the cave, you're pretty much there. So you just take a left. You find here, you can come in here. And 
eventually you find your way out. So you find the cave, you come to here and take your right, you find the village, take your left. Pretty simple. Okay, so mm -hmm. um Yeah, so now I will show you the list real quick. Not that way, not that way. Oh, here we go. Here's the castle. So to get out here, you want to go this way. Just be careful when you sprint, your food goes down. So if you're sprinting and then zombies attack you or something like that, then you won't have any, you won't be able to do any spells for a while. Well, Bob the Zombie. Sometimes Bob the Zombie, you can find tears. Bob the zombie tears. I'm not sure what they're worth, but I keep them. I saw a guy trying to buy them. It was like some ridiculous amount of money he was charging for. It. And then I realised I had one, but it was too late. So. But anyway, these are the pigmen caves here. They're just outside Bagme. You just go in there and there's two pigmen in there. You have to be careful when you go in there. Oh, that's right. Archers are very dangerous. Be careful if you're dueling a player. You have to be careful of the um, of them, because they can be quite dangerous. To duel and trade with other people, you hold down shift. You right click to um, trade, and they have to shift right click on you as well to start trade. Um, to duel a player, you either type duel player name or you right, um, shift and right click on. Oh, uh, you left click on. To start a jail. And they have to do the same to you if you want to start a jail. If someone challenges you challenge you challenges you to a jail, you can duel them if you want, you won't lose anything. Um, it's pretty much all fun and games. Although notice if they are a higher level than you, then you are pretty probably gonna die instantly. Because all it takes is one one spell to pretty much finish anyone off. Be careful when you're dueling archers, because archers can use their um, jump spell, and they can get high vantage points. And also, they um, they got a wider variety of attacks. So basically, you just want to follow this road to get to this. Follow this road all the way. We come to a bridge. I'm pretty sure this is the right one. Yeah. City of Delos. So you want to follow, follow the road. Maybe you can talk to the junk merchant. He will sell you stuff. Uh -huh. Also sell string and bone meal, which is good instead of having to drop them, drop them rubbish bins and stuff. So here, here we have the city of Delos. Here we have the donators, the donator and um, the VIP city. I haven't actually been in there, but um, it looks pretty cool. And we've also got the um, PvP arena, which hasn't come out yet. They're still working on that. So basically you come down here. Just get past that. I'm going to come down here. Here's where you can get some wool, if you ever need wool. There is a quest that you need wool from, I can't remember what it is. Also, if you're doing the quest, this is Drake, the cowman. Um, the farmer, the confused farmer, the guy you get the quest off, he thinks he's a cow, so you're not looking for a cow, you're looking for a guy named Drake. We thought that he was a um, he thought he was the farmer thought he was a cow. It was all very funny. But actually that's a very good quest to do because you have to do a lot of running around. That's good fun. And here we have City of Deathless. Deathless. Come in here. And that's pretty much it. The 
this is the place where you can get liquidized emeralds. You bring your 64 emerald blocks. XP potions, XP potions, these things. So you come here and you talk to this guy. Give him 64 emerald blocks for one of the emerald, or vice versa. And that's pretty cool. Alright, so this is probably where I'll be leaving you guys. Um, awesome. This is an awesome game, awesome server, and I hope you guys like my first series. Um, like, comment, subscribe and everything else. Um, just before I leave you, Sailor Ross is where you start the Grave Digger rules. Um, Grave Digger quest. So you want to come to him after you've got to level 25-ish or 26-ish and do your Grave Digger quest and then you can go in the graveyard. Um, yeah, so see you guys. Awesome, like, subscribe. Awesome season. I'll see you all next time. Oh, this guy just jeweled me. So I'll show you what you do. You shift right you shift, right click him, and the duel starts in 10 seconds. Whatever it is, it's level 47, alright, so I'm probably not going to have much help. Much help. So I died instantly, so there we have it. GG. That was awesome, sort of, because I died instantly. Alright. Cool, see you guys, and good luck with Windcraft.